bakit nga ba hindi nakakasawang balik-balikan ang Baguio? Isa na marahil sa mga dahilan kung bakit binabalik-balikan ang Baguio ay dahil sa chilly weather nito. Dahil na rin sa dami ng mga transportation options going to Baguio, kaya kahit anong oras o araw kang bumiyahe, ay babalik-balikan mo talaga. But there's one thing that makes us wanna go back every time. The Gastronomic Experience Kung ikaw ay nature lover at nakatira sa busy na syudad, Baguio City is the perfect getaway to unwind para busogin ang mga mata sa mga gandang kanawin at ang chance sa mga masasarap na pagkain. In this video, we will help you plan your itinerary with our food and restaurant recommendations that we always come back to when we travel to Baguio City. As we always say, a Baguio trip is not complete without a meal at Good Taste Restaurant. This restaurant will always be associated with Baguio City as it is a homegrown go-to family restaurant known for their big servings of affordable Chinese and Filipino comfort food. It is located along Otec Street, few meters away from Burnham Park. With their good for three, or shall I say good for three days food servings, ay uwi kang busog without hurting your pocket. If you're looking for a place that not just only serves food, but also retro and pin-up aesthetics, 50's Diner is for you. This restaurant is known for their affordable foods, including burgers, pancakes, and milkshakes. It is located at the 4th floor of Porta Vaga Mall along Session Road. Ang breakfast meals nila ang lagi namin binabalik-balikan dito, dahil worth it ang malaking serving nila sa kanilang presyo. At ang ambiance, as its name implies, will surely take you back to Elvis Presley's time. Mapapa-OMG ka talaga sa creativity ng foods at ang ambience ng restaurant. Oh my gulay, from the name itself is a restaurant that serves vegetarian meal. Located at the 5th floor of La Sotea Building, along Session Road. Oh My Gulay is not just a restaurant but also a haven for artists as its owner is a renowned Filipino filmmaker and a national artist, Kidlat Tahimik. Kaya hindi na nakapagtataka na ang Oh My Gulay is an art itself. Mahilig ka rin bang mag-almusal kahit tanghalian na? Kung oo, Chocolate de Baterol will surely be your go-to place whenever you stay in Baguio. It is located in Camp Janhe in a small and cozy place hidden in a mini forest. This place is known for its delectable traditional treats like bibingka and suman salihia, and of course their chocolate de baterol, which is prepared traditionally in a copper pack and a wooden whisk, is used to mix the bittersweet hot chocolate. What's your Baguio trip about without having a bite of Grumpy Joe's five cheese pizza? Grumpy Joe will always be a local and tourist favorite because of their ever-famous pizza and flavorful pasta. Isa ito sa mga restaurant na hindi namin pinapalagpas na makainan every time we were in Baguio. Our personal favorites here are their spicy seafood pasta and of course, the 5 cheese pizza. Another restaurant owned by the national artist Kidlat Tahimik, which houses various restaurants in a cave-like art den. We recommend you to try the matcha latte and shopauban of Scout Barrows. This place offers not only eye enticing interior, but also an overwhelming food to choose from. This food park also offers plenty of coffee options na talaga namang gigising sa matutulog mo pang diwa. Whenever we crave for overflowing coffee, Pizza Bulante is our go-to place. Located along Session Road ay napaka-accessible na niyang puntahan. You have a lot of food options to choose from, including pizza and pasta. 
and refreshment options like milkshakes, smoothies, and lemonade. Craft 1945 is an old house turned into a new heritage in Baguio. This restaurant prepares their food a la Espanol, and they also serve craft beers. The place is located at Outlook Drive, 10 to 15 minutes ride away from Burnham Park. If you want to try your usual Pinoy food with a touch of Spanish-style cooking, you should go here and definitely will come back to try more. But for now, we recommend that you try their sisig and chicken wings. So, wanna ba sa pizza at pasta? Why not try some mouth-watering pork barbecue? Kanto offers their signature dish, the Loma Ribs. These are oven-baked and grilled pork ribs smothered in their house blend barbecue sauce. Served with a side of salad and creamy mashed potatoes, you have the choice of ordering a half slab or a whole slab. While it might be a bit pricier, you definitely get what you pay for. Technically not a restaurant, but it is a perfect place to start the night or cup the night off. Baguio Night Market offers a wide range of food options mula sa isaw hanggang sa shabu-shabu. Choose your poison na lang. You will definitely get overwhelmed by the foods you'll see sa Baguio Night Market. And we learned that the longer the queue, the better the food. Visiting Baguio is always something we eagerly look forward to, no matter how many times we've been there. It serves as our sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of our work days. Our love for Baguio is such that even after multiple visits, we never hesitate to spend some time there. Truly, we've left pieces of our hearts in Baguio City.